Hello everyone, hope everyone is having a fantastic weekend. I'm hoping that this is going to be a new drive, or <laughs> a good drive. This is a uh, first drive of Beta 11, um, 10.11.1, so it's just a point release. So we're going to see if there's anything major. Um, our GPS is currently locked on. That person was on, that car made an appropriate move, that person was on my side of the road. So it, it swerved the wheel a little bit. Um, one thing I wanted to note before I forget, uh, I noticed, so I did this exact route yesterday. This is normal, I like to go hiking with Onyx every weekend and stop and pass the grocery store and everything. Um, so we're just gonna do this in a whole one loop today. Uh, okay, thought that car was out in the road. Um, but what I was gonna say, I've noticed, so with phantom braking, at least with a uh, 10.11, is that instead of braking, what it would do is swerve a little bit instead. It would swerve to the right. Um, so instead of braking, it would like, you know, move the wheel to the right instead. We're we gonna turn on the blinker. No blinker. <laughs> no blinker at all then, well, okay. Uh, well, that's a minor downgrade. Uh, now this is, this is pretty good. Alright, break. See that? Okay, thankfully this Jeep on my left here let me in. Uh, because it, it was, uh, wasn't gaining speed. If, if I kept on gaining speed, it would have been fine. That Jeep uh, would have gotten in front of that Jeep and it would have been fine. However, the car doesn't account for that merging behavior yet. That being said, thankfully, the good merge of 10.11 is still here. That is still one of the best merges it's ever done on that um, on-ramp, for sure. Interesting. So I wonder if it canceled that lane change because it detected this truck up here going much slower. That's the first time, maybe second time, but first time in recent memory I've ever seen that happen to where it canceled the lane change because the car that in the lane it was going to go into was too slow. Every time we get off this exit, we're looking for how smooth is it, and then does it turn on the blinker here, which it doesn't. It doesn't, uh, doesn't do late, that's what I mean. Uh, but that was very smooth, and um, I can tell in the last couple of versions, it, it kind of seems to hunt, well not hunt, seems to uh, want to go in either lane. Uh, PB's updates would always choose this lane, um, but then this the last couple updates it seems like it wants to go in the right lane but still chooses the left lane okay break for the yellow and it's breaking good that was a very appropriate time to start slowing down though so that break at the very end was a little bit late it can't see the line here so i'm gonna leave it like this because if i press the accelerator it's gonna want to go through the red light it's odd because it's the line's pretty well defined, um, but it can't see it for some reason. Just so everyone's aware, I don't always say this, but 99% of my videos on this are on assertive. I will say otherwise. Sorry, not assertive. Average, uh, the medium option for assertiveness um, in terms of uh, the driving style. So that's that's what I'm gonna keep it on for all my drives unless I just wanna play around with it. But otherwise, uh, it seems to work best for me. I don't like the Mad Max, what did it call the most assertive option? Let's actually look at what that is. Um, yeah, assertive. So I'm an average chill. I might consider testing again um, to see if it doesn't like jut out in the traffic as much. But it seems like average is a pretty good mix for me.
So it should have been slowing down, well, that's interesting. So it, it was still breaking after the light turned green. I think there's still a little bit of latency here in the system that is causing, causing that incorrect decision making. Oh, ooh, okay. Okay. I don't want to speak too soon, I want to jinx it. But um, it turned the blinker on and then canceled itself. Because I was about to cancel the blinker and I did not hit the stock. So this is the first time I think it's ever done that by itself. Do you want to? Just, oh, and it didn't even fixed the speed limit early, but that's map data. I don't think it saw the sign up ahead. That's the first time it's ever done that. Um, that's a fix I've been waiting for for a lot of versions, and that's. The, ooh, ooh, okay. That's a little bit. Hair razor. Um, but that's that's okay. And going multiple things at once. Instead of phantom braking for that, it swerves to the right. It's very interesting. This is, um, it comes over these railroad tracks too fast and goes on top of the yellow line, as you can see from the visualization here. And so it, it needs to slow down to at least 30. 30 is a good speed to go over those, at least for me personally. I think everyone has their own preference to how fast you want to go over railroad tracks. 30 is a good speed for me. And, um, but it likes to go over at full speed at 35 mile an hour. But otherwise, so far, this is, I'd say, the best it's ever done this because it did not get, try to get over in that other lane. I'm not sure what made, decided to cancel it unless it was because there were cars in the left lane. I'm not exactly sure what, uh, what logic it had to cancel that lane change. But um, so far... That was better coming into this intersection, a little bit smoother than last time. And so when I say last time, I'm not actually comparing the 10.10 .10, uh, per se, because I, like I said early in the video, I did this route yesterday, this exact route I did yesterday. Um, I didn't bother making a video. I didn't actually know this update was coming out today, but I didn't bother making a video just because I, well, again, a lot of stuff going on. Um, so I'm making these and these will get released throughout the week. This will come out tonight and then the other videos um, I have two more to do on this route on this loop and then I'll have a uh, Fourth one tomorrow night. I'll record and this will come out throughout the throughout the week I'm not sure if I'll get one out every day, but at least the first uh, tonight and tomorrow I will try and do um, So that car that just passed it did the thing where you try to jerk the wheel a little bit to the right as well as you could tell, it did a mini phantom brake. Like, that would be acceptable to me. Like, it wasn't it wasn't even like something that you would hardly notice if you weren't paying attention. That could be something what they're trying to trying to do to prevent the phantom braking. It's like, okay, we think there's a probability the car on the other lane could come into my lane. So instead of braking for it, we we'll swerve a little bit. So it, it maintains speed, but it swerves instead. So yesterday, it's not going to do it. Yesterday, it actually failed right here. Um, the, the light was red, and it was not slowing down enough. It was going to roll through that red light instead of doing a stop, full stop, and then turn right. Um, yeah. Um, so everyone, this was a zero disengagement drive. Uh, slow down, slow down. <laughs> I didn't disengage soon enough. Um, Again, navigation goes to the, the other area of the park. Um, that's not where I want to go. So yeah, I'm very happy with that test. We'll park here temporarily just to talk. Um, let me guys know what you think. Um, this is what I look for every single time is a tangible improvement. And not changing lanes there was the best improvement um, on this route I've had in several versions. Zero disengagements and an improvement. So this this is, I can confidently say, the best it's ever done this route. It's only a little bit better than the previous time, but again, that's what we want to see. Continued improvements. Appreciate you watching, everyone. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.